Hello everyone, and welcome to Daxter. Oh, this is a game I have wanted to do for some time, but recording PSP games and Vita games is kind of difficult. But Vita TV, beautiful device, took a while to get used to recording it. You need a HDMI splitter, but eh, whatever. Let's let's go, new game. Let's do it. I uh, I did test things. Made sure it works. Start new game. Let's go for it. I'm ready. In the great struggle of good versus evil, there is often more to a hero than meets the eye. Just as the plants have their hidden roots, and rocks, when turned over, reveal their dark underbelly with all manner of surprises, so too is the great story of Jack and his epic fight to save Haven City. Every mother's child has heard the story well, but most have heard only half the tale. For as great as Jack was, he would never have succeeded without his often forgotten but faithful sidekick, Daxter. In my many years as a sage, and trust me, it's a big number, I've learned one very important truth. Behind every great hero, there is always a wisecracking, obnoxious nincompoop. This is his story. Dangerous. But, but please, don't leave now. Forget it! Find another crazy sucker, okay? Oh. <laughs> Forget the rat! The Baron wants him! Don't worry, Jack! I'll save you before you know it! What was that? Where'd he go? Huh? Where'd who go? My little crazy orange. Whatever he is, I'll show him. with five, uh, fifty-five of the nastiest workers you ever saw. Suddenly, they came at me from the left, so I moved to the right with a chop and a kick and a... <laughs> Wait, come back! I, I've got more! Uh, after I fell down to uh, confuse the lurkers, I then... Oh... Can you speak up, son? My ears aren't what they used to be. Tell us the one about how you can knock guard silly with a single blow. What, I can? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guards don't stand a chance against the old one, too. Yes, I'm pleased to meet you also. I'm Osmo, proprietor and chief spray technologist for the Quitter Ritter Extermination Company. Let me get right to brass tacks, young man. I need someone like you. Someone with your ingenuity. That's me. Someone with your strength. That's right. Your resourcefulness. Yep, got it. Your bravery in the face of certain death. What? Okay, move along, old man. You had me at hello, but you had to push it. In short, would you like a job working for me? I'll make it worth your while. Forget it, buddy. I don't know nothing about exterminating, and I hate bugs! Although, I could always fake it. Hey, what? You take it! Wonderful! Meet me at the shop tomorrow. And welcome, welcome aboard. And here we are. 
Oh, the battery on the controller already ran out. It's a good sign of things to come. Oh, what? No. What? In the cutscene, the door was a was a fly swatter and it was awesome. Why is it not that now? I'm sad now. Looks like the bugs won. What was that? Nothing. All right. Everything with more than two legs start trembling. Because the Daxtonator is in the building. <laughs> That's a spirit. Are you ready for your first test? Just give me the bug juice, Pops, and make it a double. I'll hose down every creepy crawly that moves. No, no, no. You must first learn the basics. In my day, we hunted bugs with style and class. A more elegant weapon. More, a more civilized time. Now, for your first job. I want you to go and take out all the loose bugs in the local hotel. Go get them. Cool. It's been some time since I played this. The save file that you saw was from a few months back. Uh, the door is refusing to open. It's uh, a good start. Uh, would Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you kindly please? Uh, yes. It's going very well. Your first job is at the West Side Hotel. Right. Find the concierge, and he will show you the ropes. Whoops. Yeah, as I said, it's been a while since I played this. <laughs> Wasn't aware I had to do that. My bad. Cool. Uh, so yeah, I I. Master, I almost forgot to tell you. We'll talk in a second. Communication device. I'll use this to keep in touch with you whenever you're away from the shop. If there's one thing I've learned, you can never have too many of these precursor orbs. Yeah, so I love this game. It is fantastic. I I think seriously, uh, it's great. Pack. Ooh, bet you never guessed that one. It is a really good PSP game. Daxter, that gold gem is dropped by all of these new nasty bugs. Collect as many of these as you can. Oh, that's how I get paid. Got it. This isn't going to be a 100% playthrough. I have no idea where all the precursor orbs are and the secrets and stuff. So. This guy's a dick. Get a load of this place. This is a nice hotel. Oh yeah, rotating the camera to L and R. That is gonna take a while to get used to. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Uh, so yeah, I think there's a secret, around, a few secrets around here. Maybe ah yeah, it's up here. Um, I'm just gonna go basically off knowledge. I mean, I played like 21% of this a few months back, um, but besides that, the only thing the last time I played is like six years ago. So yeah, it's a long time. So you must be the exterminator, Mr. Crew. Our best customer will be pleased you're here. But I don't like the looks of you. The bugs up here ate the last exterminator alive. Anyway, I'd love to let you up the elevator, but I've lost the key somewhere. Have a look round for it, will you? So, I have, I have two things wrong with this story. Uh, oh yeah, there will be a tad bit of lag every now and again because it's a PSP game. It's just the nature of the beast, really. But, uh... Yeah, the thing is, like, he spent two years looking for Daxter because he thought he'd be the best person for the job. I, I get that. Question is, though, like, did he not hire anyone in those two years? Like, how like how long was he at? I honestly didn't know this was here. But, uh, yeah, was he searching that long? Like, really? I don't know. Maybe? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it's interesting. Thank you. Now bring me back a nice stack of those gold bug gems, and I'll tell Osmo you've managed better than that last fellow he sent. Can I stand on here? Apparently not. Fine, I'll go round for the for the precursor that I've seen. Um, yeah, the other thing I have is, like, it's interesting that this building exists, because in Jack 2, no one gets in or out of the city, so why would there be the need for a hotel? Wow, the lag. Why would there be a need for a hotel? Because... Well, everyone lives here. Like, 
It's like me going and staying at a hotel that's literally next door to me. There is no point because I live here. Like, <laughs> But, meh, whatever. What I do like about this game is that things tie up to Jack 2, if that makes sense. So, Osmo's building in uh, Jack 2, it's not there. And you will see why in this game. But it makes sense. I'm afraid. Oh, that's that's nice. Ow. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? It's going very well for me. But yeah, no, it does tie up. I'm not going to spoil anything, obviously. The story's actually really good. I like it a lot. But this is set basically like... Obviously, the first cutscene is essentially at, right at the beginning of Jack 2. Um, but then, I guess now we are like a couple of months, maybe couple of weeks ish uh, away from when he finds Jack um, so it's it's really interesting it you unfortunately you don't I don't I mean maybe it does tell you I yeah, can't remember too much be useful after all. yeah I can't remember too much but to my recollection not much is covered of what he did in the last two years if I remember correctly I could be wrong about that um, yeah, there are some things you can't get uh, straight away. Like, there are certain power-ups you'll get later on, or abilities you'll get later on. Uh, not necessarily power-ups, just different weapons and stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, this is a combat bug. Combat bugs uh, can be dueled against other players. Uh, refer to the software manual, which I uh, have. Yeah, there's basically a mini-game where you fight bugs versus bugs. I don't really remember much about it. I guess I'll go into it at some point. Um, I don't think I can get that, but I'll give it a go. Oh, okay, never mind. I stand corrected. He's got quite a big reach, actually. It's impressive. Um, yeah, the lag isn't actually too bad for the most part. I think it only lags in very specific places, like the hotel lobby. Um, I don't know why that's such a big lag spot. I presume there's... I can only presume it's connected to, like, something that's a massive key point later on or something. I don't remember, really. But... Yeah, no, I just, I really like this game. I think it's a lot of fun, and I'm really looking forward to playing it, because I I have seriously wanted to play this for years, but the only PSP game I ever really got around to recording was uh, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, and that was a pain to record. So, yeah, it's nice to be to be doing this. Uh, I saw, there's no way I'll get to that, you know. Let's uh, not, I know how, I'm, how I would get to that, but I don't have the ability to yet. So, fair enough. Uh, but yeah, that was a pain to record, and I was just like, oh, I can't go about doing Daxter, because I will kill myself. So, I didn't. Uh, and here we are! The Vita TV. Really good. It's now just called the PlayStation TV. Point being, really good device. Uh, it requires a very specific uh, HDMI splitter to work with it. Uh, because, uh, well then. Oh yeah, you're supposed to crawl, aren't you? Well, who cares. Um, at least I assume so. Can they get me from here? I guess not. I didn't really think that would work, just because they seem to be touching the floor. But, whatever. Um, yeah, so... Is there nothing in there? Okay. Uh, yeah. What was I talking about? Yeah, no, it, it's hard. it took me a while to get figure out how to record it, because, uh, it has a... I can't remember what specific what it's called. It's a HDMI strip or something. Basically, it won't let you record... Um, HDMI because um, there's something blocking it um, so, so what you have to do is you have to get a HDMI splitter so it doesn't go straight through a capture card it goes through a device and then to a capture card but it only works with some specific ones so that was the uh, the point behind it but uh, I got it working that's, what, that's the important thing I'm constantly falling uh, so yeah that's, uh, that's pretty great but, uh, no, for a first level, this is super fun. I've already died, which is, you know, good start. Uh, as I say, it has been a long time since I've played this, so I'm gonna be rusty. But I'm gonna go get what I what I can. Gonna enjoy myself. Oh, did I forget to give you the room keys? Well, uh, you'll find a way. Yeah, because your doors are appalling. If someone wants to gash you in your room, it wouldn't be a hard thing to do. I saw a Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon, where someone tried to gas them. 
um, so they could steal Sonic's shoes. Um, but that just slipped under the door. That was like, it was like the ca cartoon gag where it fits under like the millimeter gap, like fitting a whole person under because of reasons. But um, but yeah, that's uh. Yeah, that, that that gap is just terrifying. Anyone could get in. Okay, maybe not anyone. Crew couldn't. Uh, but, yeah, just... Yeah, that's not not safe, I feel. But is this a room? This is a fancy room. I mean, maybe... I mean, uh, is it a room? Yes, it's a room. No, is it a bedroom? Like, is it a suite room? Because if it is, this is a fancy suite. It's got a whole dining table. And a picture of whoever this guy is. Concierge is dad, I don't know. But yeah, the concierge is just like, yeah, this has done very well. I suppose I should commend you on doing some work. Now off you go, you peasant. Oh hello, what is this? Pick up a combat bug token to the play strategically during bug combat. Okay, cool. I honestly have literally no idea how to play it. I don't think I ever did play it, to be honest. Um, so, that will be kind of new to me. I mean, this is all really new to me. Even the stuff I played, like, w up to where I played, I can remember really well. I remembered that even from six years ago. I remember vividly remembering it. Like, the, the first few levels are super memorable, and I love them. I'm not saying the rest of the game isn't. That's not the case at all. It's just all really good. Um, I just don't really remember it that well. But, ah, you scared the crap out of me. Um, yeah, I just don't remember it as well. But, um, yeah, I just, yeah, I just, uh, remember certain things about, about it, but I can't remember, how, actually, if you pause the game, yeah, it tells you how many there are of each thing, so there's 39, uh, uh, metal head eggs and, uh, 50 precursor orbs, that's cool. Uh, precursor orbs are super important, um, because maybe not for actually advancing the game and the plot, but for unlocking mini games, which you seriously want to unlock. Um, and I'm going to try and unlock all of them, unless one of them requires you to get all of them, in which case, uh, no, screw that. Uh, but, but yeah, no, it's the mini games are super awesome. I think they were quick time event kind of mini games, but trust me, they're awesome. They're so worth it. But uh, no, this is a game I wanted to do for a while. Another one I've really wanted to do is Ratchet Deadlocked, um, which I am tempted to do the HD version because I've not, I've got it, but I haven't actually played it. And I haven't played Deadlocked, seriously, and I think since it came out. I honestly think, I don't know, I don't think I've played it since it came out. Maybe like a couple years after. But even so, that's what, six, maybe more years ago? It's a long time. So... I'm kind of looking forward to it, to be honest. I was waiting to do it with someone else because it's a two-player game, but uh, no one was around. Really, like, no one lives around me. It's just not happening. So, yeah, I'm tempted to do that. I'm also tempted to do Jack X at some point. Um, there's also a Jack Free Versus. With, oh, that was awesome. Uh, <laughs> Jack Free Versus uh, with Chessy and Sam. Um, I don't know when that's actually going to happen, because uh, obviously it's not down to just me, it's down to whenever they're free and whatnot. But, um, but yeah, we will do that at some point, and we're looking forward to it. Uh, we got some, some good ideas for it. We're also considering doing uh, Jack and Dax to the, uh, oh, what's it called? The Lost Frontier, I think it's called? The, uh, the crappy PSP game that's a sequel to Jack 3, but doesn't deserve to be. Um, yeah, that one. Uh, so, yeah, that's exciting. We're considering, uh, racing it blind. So we have to watch the cutscenes, and we have to, we have to just experience it all blind in a race. And if I, if it's like I finish or he finishes first, whoever finishes first, uh, then the other still has to sit through it. Because we want to see their reaction to whatever hell that game has. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that as well. As stupid as it'll be. Um, but yeah, this, this game is a lot of fun so far. Uh, I, I did want to, like, mention one thing, though. Like, because I said that attack was awesome. I've been hearing it, like, over the years. Like, just the term, that was the shit. Like, I don't understand that at all. Looks like the express exit for the Daxtonator. Like, 
at what point was that a good thing? Like, even if it wasn't saying, it's not saying your shit. They, what it means, though, is you've been squeezed out and with the intent to be flushed away forever. Like, that's what you are. You are the worthless, useless remains of what I've eaten and I want you to go away. Like, that is basically what you're saying when you're calling someone the shit. And I have never understood that. If anyone uses that phrase, or has in the past, and realized how dumb it is and has stopped since, uh, could you tell me why? <laughs> like, oh, I'm sad now. <laughs> Watch that be the only one left. Watch me have 40... No, actually no, I can't, cause, surely not, because there's, there's been some areas that I could definitely get to at some point when I have another item, so there's no way I'll have more. But, not this music though. <laughs> but yeah, that just always, just confused me somewhat. I never really got the idea of calling something the shit, but that's just me. Hello, I did the job. You've exceeded my expectations. Payment received in full, and I'll be phoning your employer immediately. Now off you go. Well, at least he was grateful for what I did. I'll give him that. So where were the two? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. The two bugs escaped. Sorry, I guess. We received payment in full, that's all that matters in the end. So even if you just kill one, like, do you get payment and received in full? I hear you did the smash up job. That I did. So, yeah, I think. Now oh. I need you to clean up a construction site. These bugs don't even wait for the building to be finished. Oh, those bugs. Well, I guess that's as good a time as any to finish up uh, the video. Um, so, I just want to quickly check over here before I do. Okay, there might be something behind here, maybe. Ah, so there is. Uh, can I get up? Uh, y y no. <laughs> I don't know. I'll figure it out later. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. So, goodbye.